Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Shooter Rank Stuff. And today, I'm going to be ranking the Friday the 13th films, all 12 of them. So, why not wait? Let's get this party started. Shooter Rank Stuff, Shooter Rank Stuff, Shooter Rank Stuff. Number 12, Jason Goes to Hell. All right, at number 12 is Jason Goes to Hell. Okay, what can I say about this shit fest that ain't already been said by a hundred different people? <clears throat> this movie fucking sucks, okay? Not only did they try to change the mythology of the series and shit and add their new little spin and say Jason is a deadite. It's just fucking stupid, stupid. My least favorite aspect about this fucking movie is the body humping. We hardly ever see Jason. We see Jason, like, at the beginning of the movie and at the end of the movie. Other than that, the fucker's jumping from body to body. Okay, there's a couple um, good characters like Creighton Duke and the main dude. He's pretty good. But the other co characters in this movie, they're just... I just don't like it, okay? I just... I can't, it's, it's a terrible, terrible fucking movie. Terrible. And really, I think I'm done talking about the piece of shit. On to the next one. Number 11, Jason X. All right, the next movie is Jason X. And well, it's about as terrible as the previous movie. I... Both of them are pretty shitty. This one has a little bit of cooler kills in it. It kind of saves it. But, like, this movie I compare it to a sci-fi channel movie. Not very good. Bland. Boring. So, I mean, Jason looks like a, just this, the most terrible look of Jason anyway. The regular Jason. I mean, Uber Jason's okay and all. But, I mean, just a terrible... Terrible, terrible freaking movie. All right. On to the next one. Number 10. Jason Takes Manhattan. The next movie in the shit list is Jason Takes Manhattan. This is another terrible movie. It's not the movie we were promised. This is like one of the movies where the final girl is just... Uh, bleh. Bleh. I didn't enjoy Rennie at all. Uh, this movie's just another one that's total shit. It's like a bag of shit that gets thrown at the movie screen and you have to watch it. I mean, number one, we didn't even go to Manhattan, okay? It was filmed in fucking Vancouver, British Connecticut, or whatever the fuck it's called. Columbia, not Connecticut. Connecticut's in the United States. We're not talking about Canada here, but... uh. Basically, they should have just changed the name of this movie as Jason on a Cruise Ship. The characters, once again, are not very likable. Ah, piece of crap. Piece of crap fest. So, I mean, there's not really... I mean, there is a couple good kills, like Julius getting his head knocked the fuck off. That was pretty good. But... And this is probably Kane Hodder's second best performance. We we're already got we're we just started this list and already got three of Kane Hodder's four four performances. That's why I think he's kind of overrated because his movies. I mean, he's a great Jason and all, but his movies fucking suck that he's in. So let's just move on to the next one. Number nine, Freddy versus Jason. All right, now it's time to talk about Freddy versus Jason. And this movie, it's okay. Does not live up to the expectations. That's why it's so far back on my list. And it always, to me, felt like a Nightmare on Elm Street movie, not a Friday the 13th movie. So it's probably going to be higher on my eventual Nightmare on Elm Street rank ranking or whatever, you know what I mean? So, like I said, underwhelming. I mean, 
the Silent Bob kid, not the Silent Bob, but the Jay, the guy who kind of like Jay, he was pretty entertaining. But once again, we got very uninterested characters that I do not care about, that I'd rather see them get their faces melted and killed. Uh, some things I do like about this movie, I did like the campfires. I mean, the cornfield scene. That was pretty badass. A lot of good kills in that, but, you know, I'm just regurgitating the same things over and over again, so doesn't really have anything else to say about this shit fest either, so on to the next one. Number eight, part seven, The New Blood. <laughs> All right, so we're probably, we, we've reached uh, probably the first controversial pick on my list. A lot of people might have this movie a lot higher, but not me. I don't like it. Uh, I used to love this movie. I mean, on one hand, the main girl, Tina, is somewhat sympathetic, too, because the doctor is kind of abusing her, abusing his power, and the mother just seems oblivious to it, and then she killed her father, but on the other hand, she's just annoying, and... Once again, there's the other characters are just not very likable. I mean, some people like this because the Carrie versus Jason, I mean, effect to the movie. But, I mean, that was pretty badass. I mean, the final 20 minutes of this movie is great. Fucking awesome. But when we talk about the previous hour and 10 minutes, it's just, I don't know. Just blah, just same with the same old that we... Some of the same old shit, different day that we've been seeing on some of the ones that are higher on this list, as you can see. So, this is really the last of the ones that I can't fucking stand, really. That, like, I, I'm going to skip. Now we're getting into a couple so-so movies, and then what I consider to be the real creme to the creme of this list. So... Let's not waste any more time on the new bud. Oh, though I will say, the one kill with the fucking whatever the fuck skill saw on to, attached to a fucking lawnmower, that was a pretty badass kill. But see, what what killed this movie was the cuts they had to make. And uh, it really, 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 really hurt this movie. So, let's not waste any more time and go on to the next one. Number 7, Friday the 13th, 2009 Remake. Kiki, my, my, my. All right. We've, now we've come to the 2009 Remake. Well, let's just start off saying what I do like about this. I like the, the way we got back to our roots. And just Jason in a camp killing motherfuckers or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, there's some really good kills. A throwback to the first four movies so you got you got a lot of you know that they put a lot of time and thought and they really enjoyed making this movie well let's get to what i didn't like about it first thing i didn't like about it the movie the pacing is way the fuck off it feels super super fucking slow super fucking long i think it's only about an hour and a half movies but it feels like it's a two and a half hour movie because they split it up into two little segments there with the sister and her group and then the brother coming and going to, you know, trying to find his sister and meeting up with this second group. I didn't like the ambiguous ending either. Like, what the fuck? Usually you know one person survives. That's just the way they left it. I mean, but other than that, and I did also I did not like the tunnel system, Okay. Explaining why Jason shows up is just that's just stupid. Leave it to imagination, like we have for years, years and years. Though I did like Derek Mears as Jason, he's my second or third favorite Jason in the series, so I really did enjoy that. But other than that, it's an okay movie. Okay, I don't hate it, I don't love it, but I mean, that's all I can really say about that. And uh, we're going to go to the next one over here or over there. I don't know. Number six, Friday the 13th, part three, A New Dimension in Terror. Key, 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 my, my, my. Now we've come to what's going to probably be the most controversial 
placement on this list because I'm probably going to get a beat up about it by you purists. Uh, if I did this about two years ago, this would probably be a little higher on the list, but I don't know. I, I, I recently watched these movies again, and I, I don't know. The pacing on this one's a little slow, and over the years, I just I cannot connect with Chris Higgins as the final girl. I mean, I just should have left the original ended in. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm sure it is somewhere on YouTube. Uh, but, I mean, there's great kills. Richard Brooker is a mazeballs as Jason. He's my second favorite Jason of all time, by the way. He was just great. Creepy. I like the whole fucking old Lester, the Lester, Mo Lester vibe where he hangs out in the fucking barn. That's pretty creepy. And a little creepy effect to it that we hadn't really seen up until this point. And, of course, we all know the hockey mask makes its debut. Shelly. Shelly had it. Old prankster Shelly. I did enjoy the, the characters. I mean, I really did. And I love the subplot of the biker gang coming in and all that. And just the whole Jason being a molester, an actual molester, leaving that up to your mind with Chris a few years earlier. It just didn't sit well. It doesn't sit well with me the older I get. It's kind of like unnecessary to be even in the fucking movie, I think. But other than that, it's good. It's a good movie. Uh, and I do enjoy it. Just like I said, the pacing's a little slow and an unnecessary subplot. But yeah. other than that, good movie. On to the next one. Number five. Part five. A new beginning. Roy has his day. Kiki, my, my, my. So I'm guessing this one's going to be another controversial. How could you have a new beginning at number five when it's not even chasing? Well, guess what, fuckers? I do, okay? This movie is, I mean, I used to not like it. I, it would be farther back on down. But, you know, the over the years, I've become quite fond of this movie yes no it doesn't have jason but roy barnes is okay i mean at least they tried something new there's some very very badass fucking kills some of the best kills in the fucking series uh the one where it takes the one guy and the belt and the tree branch that was fucking brutal and his his girlfriend with the fucking clippers that was pretty brutal the two greaser guys one of them got it the flare gun, and I mean the flare in his mouth. I mean this is just some great fucking kills in this movie. Not a big fan of John Shepard as Tommy, uh, but I see what they were going there. It's a nice transition from Corey Feldman into into Tom Matthews in the later movie. Uh, Reggie the Reckless, badass little kid. I loved him. Uh, his uh, brother, amazing, amazing, Juana man actor. Amazing. It was a great cameo. Uh, it's just, this movie is a very entertaining movie. It's very 80s. Very slasheristic. Uh, the only, like I said, the only downfall is Jason. But, I mean, you didn't even know it was Jason until the last two minutes of the fucking movie. So, I mean, can you really hate on a movie that's just like the other ones? Just because... Yeah, didn't know it was Jason until like two fucking movie. Um, two minutes until the end of the movie. All right, on to the next one. Number four, Jason lives. Kiki, ma, ma, ma. All right, now we come to part six: the resurrection of Jason. Ah, uh, zombie Jason. The start of the jump. The zombie Jason. Ah. Uh, it's a great movie. A lot of people have this as their number one. I mean, I don't like it that much. I mean, I think the comedy is a bit too much to be number one. But, I mean, it's funny. It's very, very, very... I, sometimes I thought I was watching The Nightmare on Elm Street with all the comedy we got here. But... And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people dying in this one. Uh, but it just seems like there was a lot of... Just like a lot of people that like, where the fuck did they come from? Who the fuck are these people? That 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 kind of that's 
what the main problem I have with this movie is like, yes, you have your central little characters that you come invested with. Tom Matthews as Tommy, great performance. We had the girl Megan uh, played by I don't know what her name is, but she was on V. I used to love that show. Uh, great final girl, my my second favorite final girl of the series. A cocky, smart ass, badass. Uh, she ends up saving Tommy at the end of the movie. Uh, it was great, great fucking movie. I mean, it's good. Uh, just like I said. Really, the only things I have a problem with is the comedy and just like too many just extra fucking characters out of nowhere that just fucking die. I'm like, I guess they just wanted to get the the kill count up. But, like, I mean, I'm not going to tell you anything. You've probably seen this. This is just an opinion piece. So, I mean, there's nothing I can really say about this. The other the last thing I want to say, that MasterCard gag, that was brilliant. That was fucking, I was still funny today. But that's all I got to say about this one. On to the top four. Number three, Friday the 13th, 1980. Kill her, mommy. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Next on the list is the original. Friday the 13th. With Pamela as the killer. A lot of people do not enjoy this movie because it doesn't have Jason in it, but... I mean, if we didn't have this movie, we wouldn't have got the rest of them. It tells Jason's origin story very well. I mean, and plus we have the Kevin Bacon in the movie. Once again, we have characters that we enjoy. I mean, I did. I thought Ned was hilarious. The cop coming in. <laughs> that was a pretty hilarious scene. And uh, Crazy Ralph, an iconic character. Very good character. Uh, great kills. I mean, of course, this was a Halloween ripoff. Sean S. Cunningham will tell you that. But, I mean, great movie. A great start to the franchise. And I thought Pamela was a beast. That's one badass mama, I'm telling you. And, uh, you know, the final girl, Alice, she's just kind of like blab, but, you know. She's a very iconic character, too, but uh, it was a good movie. Great movie, in fact. Great start. I love this movie. On to the next one. Number two, part two, the beginning of Jason. All right, we've come to the top two, and at number two, I have part two. That's a lot of twos. This is the introduction to Jason. Of course, there's no hockey mask. That didn't debut to three. We already discussed that. Jason wears a sack over his head. But it's very intimidating hillbilly Jason, as people call him. Uh, this movie had the best final girl, Jenny. She's just overall badass. And the fact that she's sympathetic to Jason makes you even love her even more. Uh, and there's always like a rumor that she's kind of pregnant, too. Uh, it makes her even more sympathetic. Uh, I like the kills in this movie. Very good kills, uh, especially the most shocking one in the series, I think. Uh, Mark, the wheelbarrow, wheel, wheelchair-bound teenager, gets the machete to the face and then rolls backwards down the steps. That was just fucking awesome. Uh, uh, my knock on this movie, if there's one, if I, and I have to be picky about it, I, I don't mind if they killed Alice, like I said in the previous She's a little blind to me, but my knock on it is that there's way too many uh, survivors. Like, you got the, all the people who went to the bar. They all survived. We don't know what the hell happened to them. I guess they were still fucking partying. But, like I said, great movie. And I don't really have anything else to say about it. On to the next one. Number one, the final chapter. Alright, we've reached number one, and it's the final chapter, like most people out there. Well, there's a lot of people that feel that this is number one. We had Tom Savini, who done the special effects in the first movie, come back and do the special effects in this movie. We had the introduction of the most badass character in the series, other than Jason, and Tommy Jarvis, played by Corey Feldman, as his kid. Uh, also, Crispin Glover and that dance. That fucking dance. Oh, that glorious fucking dance. That's awesome. 
a lot of a lot of great moments in this movie. A lot of great kills. The corkscrew uh, the corkscrew kill is my favorite in the whole series. A lot of people like the sleeping bag kill in part seven, but this I'm a mark for this kill. A great fucking kill. Tad, Tad, where's the corkscrew? Tad, great, great, great fucking movie. I love love this fucking movie. There are a couple things that like all of these movies like. Uh, Rob's been apparently searching for for Sandra for some time. So this is where all the timeline confusion comes into hand. But, like, these are all supposed to be happening over a course of a weekend. He wouldn't even know that she's missing yet. That's, that's the thing. But other than that, great performances, a great cast. I, I, I'm very sympathetic to this cast. And uh, just a great movie. I watch this movie at least six, seven, eight, maybe 12 times a year. Or maybe 13. Great, great movie. Love it. So, well, we've come to the end of the shooter's first uh, ranking list. Uh, if you like this, you enjoyed it, well, let me know. Comment your thoughts on it. Give me your. Maybe your list differs from mine. Comment below with your list. Tell me why we disagree, baby. Uh, and let me let, call in a guy to do the closing of this, Crazy Ralph. You're all doomed, I tell you. You'll be doomed if you don't subscribe to the channel. Like and share if you like it. You'll have a death curse. And as always, shoot her out.